What is going on guys? My name is Patrick aka Chief Pat and today bringing you guys episode 50 of my Let's Play Clash of Clans series. So obviously you guys are looking at a new base design. Can't say I created it myself. I actually found it on another YouTuber's channel named Gazo, C-O-C. I made some small adjustments to it, but really not that much. I just had to include some air sweeper stuff and I moved some stuff around a little bit, but I wanted to test this base out for a bit, see how it holds up. And uh, by the next episode, probably the episode after, I'll have a good review of it and I can show you guys some defensive replays. But let's go ahead and keep finishing up some upgrades around my base. I upgraded the bomb and the giant bomb. And if you guys have been watching me for a while, this is actually the first time I built the giant bomb at Town Hall 8. So I'm going to see if I get like a lot of efficiency out of that, but let's go ahead and do some raids I have some pretty big stuff. I want to upgrade today. First of all I want to upgrade the barbarian king, which is 12,500 dark elixir Also, I want to upgrade my goblins to level 5 either the goblins or the giants I'm not sure yet uh, because I did finish the archers in the last episode to level 5 and then also I think I have one wizard tower that's a little bit lower level than the other one So I'm gonna to want to upgrade that one as well So we're gonna need a lot of resources I'm gonna to have to do a lot of raiding and uh, let's go ahead and check it out and see how many resources we can steal from a couple of these battles so first of all using the standard army composition six giants eight wall breakers about 50 archers and the rest goblins i'm gonna go ahead and storm this guy's base because it looks like most of it's inside of the mines and pumps there's a couple of pumps that are within like a layer of walls but you did see a bunch that are all, were already on the outside already so i'm gonna go ahead and attack through the top right drop a giant to distract go ahead and drop those wall breakers to break through and i should have plenty of troops to get those two elixir pumps right there and then from the very bottom right i actually did drop a couple of archers that were shooting over over the top and uh, I didn't actually have to drop all my troops down there just yet but since I can't get too close to that archer tower on the very bottom hand side I am going to start dropping some of my goblins and it looks like there's some wizard or there's a wizard tower right there but I should be able to get it slowly but surely and it, even though my goblins are only level four they're definitely going to be able to take those guys out Again, I'm sort of torn between upgrading my giants and my goblins. I think they're both 2,250,000 elixir to upgrade, um, but it's pretty, I don't know, it's pretty close to what I would upgrade. Normally for you guys, I don't know how many of you guys use goblins. Most of the farmers that I talk to usually use like barbarian archer. Uh, some people use a lot of minions. Really goblins aren't the number one thing a lot of people use, but if you guys have been following me, I use a lot of goblins for a lot of my army compositions. And if I don't have to use as many goblins, it, it means it can free up a lot of space in my army camps uh, to use other troops instead. So I think the level five goblin upgrade is actually pretty significant as far as like damage per second goes. So I'm gonna wanna keep that in mind. But in the end for this raid, again, sort of just tactically took care of the stuff on the outside. I got over 420,000 resources and uh, this one is even bigger at 400,000 elixir and 250,000 gold. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing here. Looking at where the mines and pumps and the rest of the stuff are, it looks like most of the mines and pumps are on the outside, but this guy does have 810 dark elixir that is on the very top. So I'm gonna to wanna to make sure I break through there right now and uh, make sure I take both of those guys because I'm only a thousand dark elixir away which will put me enough to upgrade my bar barbarian king to level two. And upgrading your Barbarian King to level 5 is something that's pretty crucial, something I could have done at Town Hall 7 if I really wanted to, to spend the time there. I know a lot of you guys were saying that I was rushing it, I wasn't maxing out a lot of my walls, but I really just wanted to uh, just force my way through there and not have to um, do everything at Town Hall 7. Even though if you're trying to play the game most efficiently, you upgrade absolutely everything at every Town Hall level uh, to max. But I sort of just wanted to get over Town Hall 7, move to Town Hall 8, and uh, definitely one of the things I missed out on at Town Hall 7 was upgrading my King to level 5 because the Iron Fist ability as you guys may know, is awesome. And uh, the sooner I can get that, the better. So I'm probably gonna be spending most of my Dark Elixir upgrading the King, seeing as I really don't use too many Dark Troops like the Minion, like the Hog Rider or the Valkyrie. Although I'm hoping to join a clan sometime later and join a clan war and attack uh, at Town Hall 8, because I don't really have a ton of experience attacking at Town Hall 8 uh, for, I guess, like in, in clan wars. I've only attacked as a Town Hall 9 and a Town Hall 10 in Clan Wars, so it'd be sort of fun to check it out as, as a Town Hall 8 and sort of get used to some of the strategies that lower levels use, because I know a lot of people ask me, uh, what do you, what, what would you use at Town Hall 8 to attack another Town Hall 8 in Clan Wars? A lot of people say they like using a lot of dragons. Some people say they just use uh, some other standard army compositions, so it, it would be pretty fun. If you guys think that's a good idea and I should join a clan and maybe do a couple of Clan Wars on this account once I get most of my troops to level five, uh, just let me know with a comment in the comment section below and I'll definitely think about that as well. I still need to unlock dragon. I think I did do the dragons to level two actually, I forget, but I need to get some of those other things upgraded first uh, before I try to go crazy and destroy some of these bases, but still coming up on that in a bit and uh, it would be something pretty cool to do on this Let's Play account.
All right, so let's go ahead and attack this next base here. I threw some archers up top to take care of that town hall. And then now the rest of my troops are taking care of most of the buildings on the outside. Pretty simple bases today, honestly. I really didn't even have to search that much. And I found a lot of bases like this that just had most of the stuff on the outside. Some of them were for 400,000 resources. Some of them were for 600,000 resources. So a pretty good farming today. And, and I was really happy about it because I needed a lot of resources to get most of the upgrades that I wanted to get done today. All right, so that's going to do it for this raid. Looks like I got, in the end, only a single star. We're not really focused for trophies right now. And uh, as I end the battle, 384,000 elixir, 227,000 gold. And again, one of the best parts about my army composition is that it really doesn't cost that much at all, except for the giants. Uh, but the archers and the goblins are so cheap that I'm making a massive profit on every single raid, which is pretty much the goal of Clash of Clans uh, when you think about it. You really don't care about trophies that much you don't care about anything else you're trying to be as efficient as you can with your raids and get the biggest profit possible and uh, i felt like that one was pretty good because i really didn't have to spend that many uh super expensive troops all right so next base here again another base above 500,000 resources i don't i don't know what it is lately i'm finding some really good raids this guy does have his mines and pumps inside of the base so i'm gonna have to drop my troops right here take care of these mines and pumps on the outside uh, i can use a lot of archers to shoot over the wall if i want but there still are a bunch of mines and pumps in that layer right there so i'm sort of just going to split my goblins in half um, and make sure some of them go to the left and some of them go to the right. So look at where I'm placing the goblins. Instead of putting them all on one side, where they would only run to one side each, I made sure that I was using two fingers at once to make sure they went to the left and to the right, uh, and it made a little bit of a difference. Again, these are just small things that can make your rating a little bit better, um, but putting those in that position made sure they didn't all clump up at once, didn't get shot by like two mortars at once or two wizard towers at once, and I was able to steal all the resources inside of that bottom most compartment. So looking at where, where we're at right now, 46%. Since I am so close to 50, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the two star uh, and get that right there. And that's 12 trophies, over 500,000 resources, and again, another pretty solid raid. If you can get over 400,000 resources a raid or even 350,000, you're doing an amazing job. And especially with armies like those where I'm getting it really inexpensively, not having to use that many troops, uh, it turned out to be pretty amazing and I can do some upgrades around my base. So first of all, I'm going to upgrade that wizard tower. Like I said, I knew one of those was lacking behind. I'm going to upgrade that archer tower as well. I think that puts that, uh, that last archer tower at the same level as all the others. And then finally, I decided I would go ahead and upgrade the goblins because again, they're a pretty crucial part of my army composition. And I finally upgrade the Barbarian King to level 2, which puts him one step closer to level 5 and the Iron Fist ability. So some really good raids today. I've been finding a lot of loot at Silver 2. Normally at Town Hall 8, like in 2013 or 2014, I would actually farm somewhere between maybe 1,200 and 1,500 trophies. But nowadays, it seems like there's a lot of loot where I'm at right now. And I think I'm going to stick around here for a while and see if it gets uh, any better or if it even gets any worse. So, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. I did not visit a clan in this episode. I'm going to bring that back in the next couple of episodes. Uh, but I was sort of just farming hard today. Hope you guys can understand that. But that's going to do it for this video. Anyways, I will see you guys later. Until next time, peace out.